What's good? It's somebody the ruler, and I'm back with more hip hop and entertainment news. Make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Now, of course, we're still going over this interview with No Jumper and BH, and this is the last video I'm gonna do because I, I, I want to break these. Di I want to break it into three different videos because. I believe that it was three different things that I felt was important about this video. He did speak on Blueface and basically said, you know, there, there was no issue with Blueface. And basically because of the gang politics with Blueface being from Schoolyard Crip and uh, Nipsey being from Rolling 60s, he wasn't expecting uh, Blueface to actually come out and, you know, basically say a whole bunch about Nipsey Hussle dying as far as like, you know, his condolences and things like that. Because of the politics between the two neighborhoods. Uh, and I'm not going to get too deep into that. That's their business. Uh, but at the end of the day, he did speak on the game. Now, a lot of people won that game for having those breaks. Saying he was looking like trying to be Nipsey. I know it's a song that came out where he was his delivery sounded a lot like Nipsey. And then he came out with the prolific clothing line and prolific records. And it just got real weird, man. Uh... Hoggy called him a clown. Check it out, man. Oh, yeah, just like, game you cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? But you a clown, too. So, <laughs> for one, nigga, prolific. They start, oh, everybody pro name and who own this name. Man, shut the fuck up. Y'all, first off, y'all know who got this shit cracking. So, prolific anything, bro, what the fuck? That's like us trying to say... Documentary records or some crazy weirdo shit like that. And like, no, we not gonna do that. But like, I remember Nip, he respected the game for like taking him on his like first tour. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So Nip had respect for that. And it's like, all right, that's cool and all game, but all this clout, man, you posting a homie every day, bro. Don't you got dead homies? Go post them. Like, you posting a homie? I don't even want to see this every day. Like, I'm already dealing with enough. Like, bro, you ain't even a homie like that. What is you doing? Really? And then it's like, for this to be your manager and all this crazy shit, bro, you condoning it? You was a weirdo, nigga. Period. What the fuck is you? Bro, that's like Hoggy doing some shit. If I'm doing some shit, Nip condoning it. Because mm -hmm. I'm not going to do nothing that Nip tell me not to do. If Nip say, Hoggy, leave that alone, I'm done. Mm. So it's like, if y'all niggas connected like that, how is this nigga doing this clown shit and you approving it? Or you ain't got no say so? Mm. It is what it is. Now I ain't gonna lie. I definitely was wondering like where Nip, where was, where was your feelings at on some of the stuff that WAC 100 was saying? Because again, I, I got to keep it, I got to keep it a stack. I ain't saying that everything that WAC 100 said was, false but it was insensitive to the i hope i'm using the right term to the situation at the time like i said you got family members you got mothers you got kids you got all of these people and and, and you on social media saying the stuff that you said i'm pretty sure it's getting back to the family you know what i mean as far as him using a prolific thing he said that he got permission from black sam but at the end of the day nipsey nipsey and, and games relationship was what it was and game game ain't looking at it as far as like the lines of neighborhoods or the lines of of gangs but it did come off as being a little light he was clout chasing or he possibly could have been internalizing that situation and not actually reacting to something else that might have been going on in his life and he used that as a a way to release that pain or that stress i mean and i think he said he he dropped the album what was it the other night he said that this is his last album so game might be going through some he got like seven million dollar lawsuits and stuff game may be going through some stuff uh but he called him a clown he called him a clown man i i and, and i gotta say this though i've never seen game repost any of his homies like prior to Nipsey, but that might have just showed the love that he had for Nipsey uh, from the bond that they created through music. I'm not for sure, man. Get in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think about this. Do y'all agree with Hoggy or is Hoggy tripping when it comes to the Nipsey hustle and game situation? I, I kind of get where Hoggy is coming from. I'm not going to cap. 
I kind of get where he's coming from, but let me know what y'all think. Make sure to hit that like, share, and subscribe button, and click that notification bell so you get notified each and every time I upload new content. Peace.